1960 emerges as the most disastrous earthquake year of modern times. They are calling it the most violent eruption of this volcano in 32,000 years. In the center of Christchurch, some buildings are snapped in two, others reduced to rubble. Most earthquakes and volcanic eruptions do not strike randomly, but occur in specific areas, such as along plate boundaries. One such area is the Ring of Fire, where the Pacific Plate meets many surrounding tectonic plates. Its length is approximately 40,000 kilometers and traces boundaries between several tectonic plates, including the Pacific, Juan de Fuca, Cocos, Indian Australian, Alaska, North American, and Philippines plates. According to National Geographic, 75% of Earth's volcanoes are located along the Ring of Fire, including the Mount Tambora of Indonesia, which erupted in 1815 and became the largest volcanic eruption in recorded history. 90% of Earth's earthquakes occur along its path. The worst earthquake in the Ring of Fire, and with it, the world, struck Chile on 22 May 1960. It was a 9.5 magnitude quake. What makes the Ring of Fire the most seismically and volcanically active zone in the world? Well, volcanoes and earthquakes are caused by the amount of movement of tectonic plates in the area. Here, plates overlap at convergent boundaries called subduction zones. As rock is subducted, it melts and becomes magma. The abundance of magma so close to the Earth's surface gives rise to conditions ripe for volcanic activity. However, Ring of Fire is a transformed boundary between the Pacific and North American plates. Plates here move sideways past one another. This type of boundary generates large number of earthquakes as tension in Earth's crust builds up and is released. <laughs> 